Hello, my friend. Welcome to this Lectio Divina practice, the first of its kind on my YouTube channel. I've heard from so many of you who said that you really enjoy these meditation practices. Uh, and I think it just speaks so much to this busy, full, distracted kind of way of living that our culture encourages. And so there's something so powerful about slowing down and being still with the Lord. Right, We do a lot of moving in yoga, and that's a great way to help us make space, but sometimes we just need to sit for a few moments. So Lectio Divina um, is this ancient practice. It's a Latin word that means divine reading. So rather than listening to scripture interpreted by a preacher or a teacher, we're going to let the Holy Spirit breathe on scripture as we listen to it. So what I've done is chosen a passage of scripture. We'll settle our bodies, and I'm going to read the scripture a few times. And I'll give you directions each time I read it on what I would like you to do. But really, the heart of divine reading, or Lectio Divina, is to sit and receive. To let these words wash over you, perhaps in a new way. Um, as I read the scripture, we're not going to try and attach all of the things we know about it to it. Instead, we're just going to invite the Lord to reveal something in our heart, something in His heart, through this practice. So all you need to do is find a place to sit and be still for just a few moments and let the scripture just wash over you and speak to you in a new way. So get comfortable and let's jump in. Wherever you are, adopt a posture of stillness, physical stillness, inner stillness, closing your eyes and bringing your attention into your body, noticing the felt sense of being in your body right now. One really great tool to help us do that is our breath. So just start to notice your breath. Notice how it feels in your body. Notice where it takes up space in your body. And notice how you can make your breath slower and deeper and how those two things help bring about a deeper sense of stillness. For our Lectio Divina practice today, we're going to meditate on the Psalm 16, verse 5. And I'm going to read it three different times and pause for about a minute between each reading. And for this first reading, I invite you just to let these words wash over you and through you. And just like we were noticing our breath just a minute ago, let's do the same thing with this verse not trying to analyze it or even apply it, but just notice its effect in our bodies, in our hearts. Psalm chapter 16, verse 5, in the Passion Translation, reads like this, Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure, and my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands.
as I read this verse a second time, listen for a word or phrase that sticks a bit more inside of you. And in the pause after the second reading, just let that word or that phrase land. Let it take up space. Let the Holy Spirit breathe on it. And again, without trying to force an understanding, just notice its impact on you. Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure, and my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands. For this final reading, let's apply this word or this phrase to our lives, almost like a puzzle piece that we've been holding and admiring. Now let's slot that puzzle piece in our lives, our hearts, our bodies, our spirits. So as I read it a third time, and as we pause and reflect on it a third and final time, can you begin to apply it? How then will you live in light of this truth? Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure, and my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands. Let's close this Lectio Divina practice by thanking the Lord for what he spoke or didn't speak, what he revealed or didn't reveal, and his presence throughout all of it. I thank you, God, for your goodness and for your word that is life to our bodies, hearts, minds, and spirits. And I ask that as we get up today from this short practice, will these words bear fruit in our lives? Will you be glorified in our hearts and in the world around us? We love you, Jesus. Amen. If your eyes aren't open yet, you can open them now. And take a moment to pause here before getting up and continuing with your day. Seeing if you can take the stillness 
and the inspiration that was stirred up here with you as you go. Thank you for practicing with me today, and I look forward to practicing with you again soon.